All right, here we are putting together our Langstroth box. I'm gonna show you how it goes together. This bottom part is for the landing pad. This is where all the bees come in and there's gonna be an opening down here. This is for ventilation so the, the bees can still breathe while they're all in here together. On top of that, we actually have two types of boxes. Here are the two types of boxes and normally you'll, you'll see them one will have these handles down here to hold up, and the other one has these notches. It's not true with all of the designs, but a lot of the times that's what you'll see. And this is actually a little bit more shallow. If you can see right here, it's a little bit more shallow in depth than uh, the bottom ones. So the shallower ones are on top, the bigger ones on, bo on bottom, and these are normally known as a super. This is where all your honey goes, where you collect, this is where the queen will go and all of the babies, or also known as brood. All right, so the first thing that we have to do is put these boxes together, starting from the bottom. Before I get any further, I should actually note because we actually have to put a we once this is all built, we put frames in here at the bottom. And there's actually different sizes of frames. These shallow frames, you can see they're shallow. Uh, these actually go in the top, the supers where you get your honey from, and these deeper ones will actually go down here where the queen and the brood sit. Now there's actually a lot of different types of frames that you can buy. This is a plastic frame on here. The bees actually start building their honeycomb on top of this. And then when you go to actually take off the honey, it's pretty easy because you just get a scraper and you scrape off the comb and that's, that's it. There's another type you can actually see on here. If you could see, there's actually holes here. And in this area where the holes are, you could put the metal wire through here. So it actually collects, the, the honeycomb will actually be on here so that it actually is stronger. They'll build the honeycomb around that. Uh, or you could just do foundationless, which is what I prefer to do. And when it's foundationless, inside of here, you actually have this bar right here. You could see that bar. All right, this pops up. And this is what will act as the foundation for your bees to grow your honey on. And I like to do this one the most because we try to actually stay away from, we try to stay away from plastics. So this is a giant plastic thing that they're on. I'm sure it's food grade plastic, but we still like to stay away from them. So we do foundationless. And honestly, after this is screwed into the bottom part, the, it's easy just making sure that they're facing up. They're facing up because these notches right here these notches are where the frames will fit. It actually won't go in the other direction this way. It only fit in one direction. And on the bottom, you won't see the notches down here. They're too wide, so it won't actually fit inside of there. So the rest is just making sure the ones, the boxes with the handles, or on the bottom, the bigger boxes, and the smaller boxes are on the top and they're facing right side up. Now there's one quick note before we get to the actual top part where we put the supers on, there's actually something called a uh, queen extruder. All right, before I actually put the top boxes on where the honey will sit, I'm gonna actually put a, a, a queen extruder in here. And if you look at the queen extruder, it has bars and those bars are just the right width so that the queen can't make her way up into the boxes, the boxes that are above here. So she can't make her way up to here. So everything above this bar is all mine. If this is gonna be honey that I collect, everything under here is for them. They'll, they'll create honey in here and brood or babies down here. 
and she won't be able to come up here and lay babies inside of here. So I don't have to worry about any of that when in this system. Some people don't put a queen extruder in there because they, uh, the queens actually tend to have cells where they lay brood in and then other cells, I'm going to call these cells, other cells where they just do um, honey. So, but that's not always the case. Sometimes they'll have brood in one side and honey in the other. So to make it easy, a lot of people do choose to have a queen extruder between the two of them. And then from here on, it's honestly just setting the boxes on here. The thing that will hold these boxes down is that the bees start to make something called propolis. It's like beeswax. And they'll seal all of these themselves. And they'll seal the top part. And then you finish it with another screen on the top. And that's also for ventilation. And then you cover it with the cap. And on this cap, most of them you'll find this is a metal cap so that the rain doesn't actually destroy the, the lid. And that's it, super easy. And that's what it looks like when it's finished.